Hi people. Welcome to a video. Um, I am Nathan. I am the owner and producer for the YouTube channel Open Tech Studios. Link in the description. Um, I am now with CSP. I will still be uploading on my channel as well. However, I'm shooting this in portrait. We're rolling with it. However, um, I wanted to make a video here, introduce myself, and show off my system. So, this is my server. Uh, hopefully, you guys can hear me. In a... Apparently, there was an event. Um, hopefully, you can hear me. So, I am the owner of the, or A, I guess, MS9200 UDLS. Um, Parallel control panel. So this will be a system this video too. So, all right, so what do we have? We have an MS9200 UDLS fire alarm control panel. This is an addressable system. We have all the phone stuff and dialer stuff here. I need to organize these cables better. Um, so we've got a Wi-Fi extender here that's giving me ethernet. That ethernet goes into this router, which I'm basically more or less using as a switch. So that's the incoming. This goes out to the server. This goes into the uh, the phone, the SPA112, and then the other one is going into I think the server also, yeah. So we have a lot of surge protection. Uh, the fire panel is the only thing that's not, but technically it is. We have a whole home surge protector outside, I'm fairly certain. We have a surge protector here, then the UPS is plugged into that one, and then the UPS is a surge protector as well. So. Oh, and then, yeah, we have another surge protector. Yeah, it's, um, we're good. So, this is the SPA-112. This is how I'm getting my dialing communications to Protostar Alarm Monitoring. It is, um, provisioned with them. Might do some other stuff. I might be buying another one. Uh, this is for a different video. Don't worry about the server stuff. This is the MS9200 ULS. You can see I've got some other stuff in here, some tools. I've got some door holders. Um, that's what it looks like. It's a 24 volt system. There's two transformers that do 12 volts each. This is wired directly into this plug, although there is a switch on it. If I flip it quick enough, it'll go into AC power fault. As you can see, it says AC fault. I don't want to power it off though because I don't have batteries yet. Still need to get batteries. So, let me see that open. Over here we've got my BG12 um, story on this. Technically, this is a BG12, but it's also not. This is from a BG12 SL in a way. This chassis. This, technically not even, <laughs> this is a BG-12. This would be a BG-12 addressable. So would it be an LX? I don't know if they have a uh, hex that's not a lock. This is now a BG-12L. No, BG-12S. It's weird. This is a normal BG-12 that's been swapped for addressable, but I put the faceplate of my single action, which is from a BG-12 SL, in because that pole station is totally broken. And this is actually a rear alarm. Whenever I end up getting my firelight key, I will be putting the lock on it. This is just an open back box. I uh, might take it off. It's gonna get wired up. This is my dual monitor module. You can see it pulling there. This is running my Midland WR120 Easy Weather Radio, which is set as a 24 hour auxiliary alarm for hazard alert. Up here, we have the uh, NAC. I only have one right now. System sensor, third gen remote strobe, classic. 1575. 
Um, I don't really want to pull it off to get the exact model number, but it's a third gen remote strobe classic. It's not the Hikandela model, it's nothing special. So, oh, and then my emergency light. I wired this up recently. So it points down right here at the floor by the panel, and then it points over there into the, the common space in the basement. So that's all of that. Um, it's all storage and crap there. Have my spool of wire in there. And it's just, you can just pull on this and get wire. That's four gauge, because again, this is addressable, or four conductor, because it's a addressable system. I have some two conductor in there. And then this is just miscellaneous tester, another back box. There's a, there's an outlet there. All kinds of stuff. The phone cable runs out of this into this faceplate, and in the back of this are the two ethernet type cables that plug into the dialer. So I can always swap this cable out or do whatever I want and that can stay fixed there. These are just ethernet cables and mainly power cables. There's nothing too special on it. So that's enough talking. Why don't we go ahead and do a test? So this will pull the fire alarm um, this time and I'll set off the weather radio also. So three, two, one, pull down. Take my tape off my piezo. So it's not named yet. Um, we'll silence it. We will now go here. Alert test. It's unplugged right now, though. I need to fix something with it, so we'll plug it in. Alert test. If we hit acknowledge and step, you know, active hazard alert, weather emergency. Um, zone 1, module 40. 1938, because I'm using military time. Go ahead and reset our pole station. And back out of the menu, reset our panel. So, use the modules reset back of this board it's still all being set up but in the back of this board we kind of just have it sort of set up for now we've got my Vista 15 PMT plus or whatever the heck it's called um, need to find the 6160 keypad we'll just do a that's silent, I forgot. That's burglary. I think this is fire. No, it's this. You can see the LCD on this is broken also. Yeah, so that's that. So this is gonna be the security side. Got all kinds of stuff on it. But need to get two more batteries. I don't really care if this is on backup, but I want this on backup. I'll probably leave that. So I need to get two batteries. So yeah. Let me go in here though, we'll fix this live, I got or on the recording I guess. So alert 
type. Nah, shoot, I have many not select. Yeah, set events. There, that should be my custom. Hang our key back up. And, uh, yeah, that's the system. Power actually went out. Uh, that's what that event was. No, I think it cleared it. Power actually went out yesterday. And UPS kept everything on. The thing that lost power was the, um, the panel because it's wired, like I said, directly into the house. And it doesn't have backup batteries yet. But uh, other than that, everything was perfect. And it worked out good. So that being said, Opatech Studios uploading to CSP is out.